is the screen visible to all of you yes sir yeah. yes sir now in continuation to the previous class today we are going to uh, discuss about the human development in addition in uh, continuation to the previous class as you are all aware the human development is very important for the economic development of the country it is defined as a process of enlarging people's you know the freedom and opportunities and providing their well being human development is about the real freedom ordinary people have to decide who to be what to do and how to live human development as i just mentioned is very important for the growth and development of the country because if the population is skilled people employed people if whether they are in agriculture whether they are in uh, in the process of uh, manufacturing whether they are in self employment or any other place if they are employed and if they are educated if they are skilled people then it is called as human development that human development will be will be the development of the country country's growth and development mm -hmm. that is why in the year 1990s if you see human development report introduced a new approach for advancing human well being in the sense human development or human development approach is about expanding is about expanding the richness of human life rather than simplicity of richness of the economy in which human beings live in the sense what you can understand the development of the human being has to expand with the richness and all that so that what have the richness how it comes as i mentioned few minutes back if they are employed whether they are self employed or any organization organizational activities if they are employed if they are deployed then what happens they will be their incomes will be more their per capita income will increase year by year so that their standard of living also will increase when per capita income increases automatically that reflect the national income so national income of any country depends upon the per capita income so that is why the human development the the growth and development of the country depends upon the human development it is associated with human development that's about it and you have the another important point what we have to uh, observe here is the people under the, the people when you talk about the uh, the total population of the country on improving the lives of the people lead that will lead as i mentioned economic growth of the country automatically that's what i told you per capita income increases national income increases so automatically what happens the country is said to be developed that is one area that you have to see next opportunities when you talk about opportunities human development is about giving people more freedom to live lives the value in effect in effect this means what you can understand developing people abilities giving them chance to earn 
giving them chance. For example, educating girl would be would build her skills. Girl education is very important. When girl is educated, when girl is educated, automatically the family will be educated in the future. That is what the notation. So that is why health point of view also they have to be taken care. And you have when when industrially develop the area, region, or the country, if it develops, the skills are required. When skills are acquired by these people, automatically the labor market becomes sir. Huh? The labor market in the country will be will be flourished in the sense the people in the country, skilled people, semi-skilled people, unskilled people will be there usually. So unskilled people is meant for carrying weights from one place to another place. They will be used. Skilled and semi-skilled people will be employed in different stages of the stages of the uh, activities. So skilled people means engineers, professionals, all professionals will come. So the opportunities, opportunities will be many. There are many opportunities will be there. It is their interest to take the areas they interest and they choose the areas, which areas they are interested to come up in the life, they have to choose and accordingly, they have to come up in the life. So for that, whatever facilities required, all these facilities, whatever, whatever facilities, whatever skills required, all those skills have to be acquired by using the resources. Then what happens, standard of living will be improved because their incomes will be improved increase when the incomes increases what happens the standard of living will be increases when standard of living increase human development automatically will take place that is one thing next you have choice when you talk about choice human development is fundamentally about more choice in the sense it is about people with opportunities not insisting that they make use of them it's not insisting by somebody, it is their interest. On the basis of, according to their interest, if they acquire skills, automatically they get employment opportunities of their own choice. That is the point. And you have, the human development should not, should at least create an environment for people, individual, people individually, individually and collectively. Individually, they have to uh, come up and collectively as a group, they have to uh, develop. Then only the uh, growth of the country, you can experience, you, we can see the growth of the country. That is one area. Next, you have an international community, community moves towards implementing and monitoring by 2030. The human development in India will be high. Like that it was estimated, projected, estimated. Not only in uh, one sector, agriculture sector, industrial sector, that is manufacturing sector, service sector, the growth you, you can experience by 2030. Uh, from by, by 2030 because already we are we are towards the make in india movement manufacturing is improving day by day and uh, employment is generating day by day and skills are improving by the individuals day by day so all these components what happens you know over a period of time uh, income with all these skills, the individuals 
will generate their income their uh, income levels will uh, income their income levels will improve further further and further so that happens and you have the next important uh, aspect that you have human development why it is necessary why the human development is necessary and that you have certain points those are human development first point when you come across here you just see i am moving the cursor human development is the need while economic growth is only means to this end in the sense you know, why human development is necessary the purpose of entire exercise of development is to treat men men and children for present and future generations and hence to improve the condition to enlarge people's choices people choices it's not that one segment of the people to develop it's not that one area has to develop it is a holistic development of all the sections including vulnerable sections the growth has to be reached to the even to the vulnerable sections also should be included that is what we call inclusive development so that inclusive development to attain that inclusive development the human development is necessary next you have the human development is a means of a means to higher productivity if people are more efficient efficient skilled people then what happens you can expect high quality of the production that happens and whatever productivity production that has come that will come going to come definitely it will be more qualitative you can expect more qualitative and the skills always reduce the costs and when cost reduces what happens profits increases because of the skill involved in the productivity what happens automatically the productivity with the quality it will come out and then what happens that will uh, um, the the once the quality to product comes out sales will improve and automatically what happens the uh, profits will come and uh, that will lead to national income increases so it's a chain one after the other depends interlinked so that is why human development is will be definitely leading to the higher productivity because they are when the skilled people are there in the country automatically what happens the productive higher productivity will take this and quality productivity will take this that is one area next you have the third point that you have it helps in lowering the family size by solving human respondents it helps in solving the human size human solving the family size solving transforming human reproduction in the sense it is the experience of all developed countries when you see the empowerment in education in education level it levels the particularly of girl girl education or better health of the girl or for that matter vulnerable sections facilities health facilities are provided that that leads to reduction infant mortality and leads to a lowering of death rates and birth rates will be effective in the sense uh, the uh, infant infant health will be improved so infant death rate will will be decreased that is why while improved education while improved education facilities make people what happens aware of the benefits of the small family higher income level better standard of living these are all they will come to know when they will come to know all these components if they are educated 
literated then they will come to know they will aware of the benefits of the small family and the benefits of the uh, how the standard of living they have to improve and what are the characteristics of characteristics to improve the standard of living all those things they will aware of it and accordingly they will they will move forward that is one thing next you have human development next point human development is good for physical environment physical environment is also one of the important point that uh, uh, we, um, we can discuss about under the human development what is the relation between these two human development and physical environment physically if you are fit then mentally you will be fit so that is why physical environment is necessary or otherwise you can talk in other way also physical environment not only the human uh, uh, the the uh, physiological physiologically fitness and all that and environment when you talk about if environment is good in the sense uh, people health also depends upon the environment conditions but nowadays what is happening in most of the areas there is uh, deforestation and all those things are taking place when deforestation or uh, desertification soil erosion these are all declining because of this what is happening when deforestation takes place occurs monsoons will come on time will not come on time and you know the soil erosion really within a small period of time only after cultivating some few crops the soil will get, will become infertile fertility will go so that is why when monsoons have to come on time means there should be there should not be any deforestation there should not be any desertification and soil erosions also be protected soil erosions should, should not be taken place and uh, all these things should be taken care so how population growth and population density affect the environment is subject to the controversy in the sense conventional view is that they have detrimental effect however uh, growth and high population density leads to there are so many problems land problems environmental problems and many other problems also will take place for a period of time so that is why these are all should be taken care of for not aggravating next you have human development and reduced poverty contributes to a healthy civil society increased democracy and greater social stability definitely this also an, an uh, important aspect for the growth and development of the country this human development once the population is uh, developed with edu by educationally societally culturally traditionally if they develop what happens the poverty will be reduced so once the poverty reduce poverty depends upon the level of incomes when income levels are increase increase what happens the poverty levels will decrease for that employment is should be generated for generation generation of employment human development human development is required human development in the sense it is associated with education educationally education is the major major, major important component so educationally people have to uh, people have to uh, improve education they have to get education good education quality education so that they get good skills so that will help them to come out of the 
poverty levels. That is one area. Next, you have social stability also. Automatically, social stability can get. One can get the social stability also. Next, you have the other aspect, components of human development. Under that, you can see, discuss the dimensions of human development when you talk about equality, sustainability. Two things we can discuss about it. What is this equality? Equality means there should not be any, you know, the partialities or, uh, or you, you, you can say like this, the equality means income disparities. Income disparities should not be there. Wealth uh, equalization must be there. All people should have uh, the, uh, the opportunities. And all people should have the income generation. All people should be involved in income generation activities and all that. So that what happens, their income, uh, their per capita income will be improved so that they will not uh, depend on anybody and uh, the disparities also will be removed. For all these things, what is important means education is important. If they get, if people get educated, then what happens? They can get equal opportunities. They can get awareness on different aspects, so that they will be, they they know. Then they then they know how to grab the good opportunities and all that. And once they grab the opportunities, good opportunities, and avail the opportunities, then definitely their income. Incomes will improve and standard of living also will improve. That will be there. In sustainability, when I talk about the development should always be sustainable. It should not be fluctuated. It is not seasonal. It should not be seasonal. The income, the sustainability means if you are in an income group, group, uh, group so that should not be the that should not be a fluctuated one. So that means uh, your growth and development it depends upon your earnings. So if you want to sustain that, your earnings should be leveled to the needs and requirements. That has to be maintained. So if you go on maintain, if it maintain that main, maintain in the sense earnings should not be should be maintained. Earnings should be. Uh, to the equivalent of the requirements and the needs. In that way, the skills are to be updated, upgraded time to time. Then sustainability will not be a problem. So that is one important uh, aspect you can uh, talk about under this. And next one is productivity, point number three. Already we received a Zoom warning now, at any time it may be disconnected. If any time if it is disconnected, I will continue in the next class. Till then, I will continue. If it is disconnected, in the next class tomorrow, we will continue. So now let us continue. Connectivity. When you talk about connectivity, under connectivity, you have one second. One second. Now, under connectivity, yes. Uh, now, according to productivity, yes, yes. According to productivity, human development, productivity, which requires investment in people. This is commonly used investment in human capital, investment in human capital in addition to physical capital can add more productivity. So this is an important aspect. Okay, next empowerment. Empowerment of people, particularly women, is another component of human development. Women is almost 50% of men in the total population. So that is why 
the empowerment not only confined to men it also should be women so that what happens the growth and development will be equally it will grow so that is why empowerment implies politically political democracy politically society, uh, societal point of view economic point of view social social development political development economic development these are all different dimensions the development has to take place so that what happens overall empowerment can be achieved and it focuses on grassroots participation which promotes democracy and you have by enfranchising the disadvantaged groups there are many disadvantaged groups vulnerable sections in the society so the opportunity should be given to them to bring them up from below poverty line to above poverty line for that government of india and respective state governments are implementing many schemes for them to bring them from bpl to apl bpl below poverty line to above poverty line so that is why professionals so all many professions are there for many professions governments are encouraging them by giving loans for promoting their professions giving loans and all that from government side they are doing it so with with those loan uh, financial assistance they can improve their you know the uh, professions and all that by improving professions their incomes automatically will improve so that standard of living will improve the development policies of the country definitely will be helpful to these sections of the people so there should not be any discrimination against women as far as health is concerned education is concerned uh, it should be given the equal opportunity should be given to all these sections education of women can lead to a various circle of lower fertility this is very important a woman is educated a girl is educated so she can educate all her family so that possibility is there so that is why better child care and all that they can take care about it if they are literate educated this is one of the empowerment and you have these are the important aspects that we discuss it today and tomorrow we take some other with some other aspects that is uh, the we completed today the human development components and we completed human development the necessity of the human development and uh, we completed about the that's what components of human development is over and tomorrow we take human development index right and uh, after that we have the occupational distribution and economic development and all that that will be taken by tomorrow okay 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 sir ah. yes sir very good now today we stop here and tomorrow we continue from the next topic okay okay sir now i stop yes. sharing, sharing the screen now, okay sir let's have a photograph and then